hands-on with Spotty, an app that brings Spotify offline playback to the Apple Watch. So yes, it's true, Spotify offline playback directly from your Apple Watch, courtesy of this right here, Spotty. I'm gonna walk you through how to use this app right now with your Apple Watch. Now, you will need a Spotify premium account in order to use Spotty. So I have my premium account logged in here. I'm just gonna simply create a playlist and add a song to that playlist like I've done here. And then it's just a matter of launching the Spotty app and then giving it access to your Spotify premium account. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then you just tap OK. And then it's going to log you in, switch back to the Spotty app, and you're gonna see all of your playlists and albums. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna tap on one of these playlists here, like this one, and then just flip the sync with the watch switch and then tap the sync button. And obviously we have the Spotty app installed on our Apple Watch already. And you can see it's syncing. So basically what this is doing is it's caching the song inside the Spotty app on your iPhone, and then it's gonna transfer that song over to your Apple Watch via Bluetooth. And then you just wanna open up the Apple Watch app to verify that the song transferred successfully. So that's what we're doing right now. So just keep the watch app on screen, keep it open. And eventually you'll see the little verification. There we go, folks. So this song is now on our Apple Watch. So we can launch the Spotty app on our Apple Watch. And we'll swipe all the way down here, switch over to the next page because I have so much music already. And there you go, right at the top, by my side, we're gonna listen. So the music you hear right now is actually coming from the Apple Watch itself, the Apple Watch speaker. So this is music that has been stored on the Apple Watch from Spotify, and you can play it back offline, even through the Apple Watch speaker if you want to. Pretty cool, no? And of course you have your transport controls so you can go back, go forward, play pause, can browse your library of music. This is an Apple Watch Series Zero, by the way. Works on all models of Apple Watch. And the nice thing is, is that when you sync music, you don't actually have to be charging your device. So that means you could be out and about and save songs to your Apple Watch from Spotify and play them back offline. So of course, most people aren't gonna wanna listen to music via the Apple Watch speaker. Of course, you can pair your favorite Bluetooth speakers like your Beat Solo 3s or your AirPods, whatever the case may be. And you can navigate the interface with the digital crown or by swiping on the screen. If you go into the Spotty app, go to the preferences, you're gonna see the audio quality options so you can choose a different bit rate. Obviously, the higher the bit rate, the longer it's gonna to take to transfer over to your Apple Watch via Bluetooth. You also have gestures, so you can skip songs, for instance, by using a shake gesture like that. Pretty cool. Now one of the central parts of Spotty is its built-in workout support. So you can tailor your workouts to the type of music that you're listening to. And when you play back that music, your workout automatically starts. That is really cool. You can also use Siri on an iPhone to start your workout based on the name of the song. So you could say something like, start my solar eclipses workout in Spotty. The app launches on your Apple Watch. And there you go, folks, your workout has started just like this. Pretty cool, huh? So you have your workout support, and that really is just the tip of the iceberg. You have real-time complications, as you saw there. Uh, so you're gonna be able to get some playback details directly from the watch face. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just a brief look at Spotty. We'll have more in our post over at 9to5Mac, so make sure you head over there, check out the full post, and also let me know what you guys think about this overall. What do you think about the concept, the idea, the ability to have Spotify music on your Apple Watch. Is it cool? Is it something you're looking forward to? Let me know down below and also check out these other videos that may interest you. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.